Money makers. Good day. Welcome to this channel. My name is Paul Brissy, aka the EMS guy. Hopefully by now you know it already. Today we're doing part two of the economic systems called the planned economic systems. And this is going to be an interesting one. So make sure you watch, subscribe and like. Let's do this. Rudy! Radio, welcome to this lesson. Today we're focusing on the economic systems, part two, the planned economic system. As you can see, I like my coffee, but there's actually a deeper meaning to it. So what resources do you need? Remember in economics, you need to plan, have your resources ready, make notes, and you can have some coffee, but don't overdo it. Water is better. Okay, after this lesson, you should be able to do exactly the same that you did with marked economic systems, but now we're doing the planned economic system. And you will see in this lesson that it's actually para it's opposites of one another. So make that mental note and then check your facts of the previous topic that we did and see how different it is. All right, so again, we want to start off with what is a government? This is recap. This is a group of people. They set policies, make laws to control how a country operates. Responsibilities is they make the laws and the policies, they create order, they must make sure the infrastructure is up to date, they collect the revenue in order to render goods and services and administer the state. Now in a planned economic system we're going to focus a lot on the government. So keep these five responsibilities of the government in the back of your head. Okay, we're back at our cartoon and here on the right hand side we can see you have two cows. The government comes and collects your two cows. Right? It goes to all the farms and collect all the other farmers two cows. And then the government says, right, you, you look like a farmer, you've got the skills, you've got the clothes, you've got the tools, we want you to manage it. So you become a farmer with everyone's cows, right? So you have to take care of all the cows. And here's the big thing. It's not yours. You don't have a choice. It's not a freedom uh, expression that you have. The government gives you instruction. So when the government gives you instruction, the government needs to pay you and provide the resources, right? And then what do you get for all your effort? Do you take all the profit? No, the government provides you with your essential goods and needs and sometimes some economic systems they do provide you with a salary. So let's look at this. We need to understand these key terms in order to go on. Productive resource, that means how we use the four factors of production, which is natural resources, um, capital, labor and entrepreneurship. Labor is another word for our human resources. And we need to make sure that we use these resources effectively and productively to make more and more and more money. And it's important in a planned economic system, because if that is not the case, we'll deplete it quite quickly. Autocrat means there's no democracy. It says one person makes a decision, don't consult anyone else. And that leaves a bad taste sometimes, especially if they don't agree. So where did the planned economic system start? It started from a guy called Karl Marx. He wrote the book, The Communist Manifesto, right, in 1848. So this was after the free market economy started, right? Now this is where the kings ruled as autocrats. They said, you will do this, you will do that. And people got tired of them. They wanted to get rid, but they couldn't. So Karl Marx and the factory owner Frederick Engels, they wrote another book, Das Kapital. Now this book said the market economic does not work. There's too low pay, the workers are mistreated, they're abused. We cannot do that, there's a public outcry. And then they said, let's control this. Let's make sure that they control what goes in, what goes out. And then they uh, um, adopted the planned economic system. Right, so in some countries they went to the extreme and the birth of communism started. So what are the advantages? Remember this is totally the opposite of a market economic system. Advantages is there's full control, the government controls everything. So there's a lot less um, growth or um, um, movement on inflation, right? The next one is they focus on the benefits of the country and the citizens. This is the core and the essence of a planned economic system. It's all about making sure that everyone is treated equally every day. That means whatever you do, you get the same as the guy next to you. Now already you might think, oh wow, so if I'm a doctor versus if I'm a farmer, I get the same. 
that is now where the drawback comes. So wages, bonuses, materials, everything is shared equally and shared um, optimally. And the government then tries to use the resources optimally, which they can control. In a business, you can control what you have. So they try to do that. The disadvantages is there's little incentive for individuals to actually expand, make things better. Why? You're paid to do this, you do this. There's no incentive, there's no profit, there's no competition. So therefore there's ineffective use of the factors of production. People get bored, they get tired, there's no challenge. And now this is not always the case, but when there's absolute power without accountability, we can see that it leads to, it can lead to corruption. All right. So it's important that we can see if it's not managed correctly, there's this downfall. So the characteristics, let's look at how it's different. The government owns the land, the natural resources, the factories. They pay the workers. All of the profit goes to the government. They distribute it equally. They provide goods and services to everyone. They set the prices of goods and services. Can you see this is a monopolistic market? And they decide what to produce and when it will be produced. Some examples is Russia, Cuba, North Korea. So in essence, let's look at the three questions. Who decides what to produce and at what price? The government. Who decides how to produce it? The government. And for whom are the goods and services produced? For the government. Why? They distribute it then to the people. Right, so I hope after this video you'll be able to see the difference between the market economy and the planned economics. Right, so make sure you understand it, revise this video, enable to shift your learning.